I knew I was going to be a sculptor since I was nine years old. It makes me feel free. I know that I was meant to do it. It was a gift I was given. It's a duty I hold in this lifetime, and I will never retire from it. And I love it dearly. I've been teaching master's workshops recently, and it's been wonderful to share my foundation with them. It's been a great pleasure to give back. I feel very fortunate that I have such a great foundation. It has given me great confidence in my work. Now I know that I can take it to any level I want to. I can dream up anything I want and make it happen. Michelangelo said something that uh, has become my mission statement. He said every human emotion can be portrayed through the human body. And I believe that's absolutely true. But that was uh, over 500 years ago that he said that. And I truly believe that we have a lot of human emotions today that he didn't get a chance to tap into. Today, we have so much opportunity, so much freedom to express whatever we want to express. Every single one of my pieces has a psychology to it. It's important to me that my work is not portrayed as classical uh, or even ancient type of work. It's very modern work. It's not classical work because the figure is rendered in a classical way, but it's modern because of the mentality and the philosophy and the psychology that goes in it. The message is humanistic. The message is about each and every one of us. I've never accepted any pressure from the outside on putting clothing on my figures. Most of my figures that I create are nude, except for this series, which is called the Liberation Series, which is exactly that us liberating ourselves from our binds and our confines that we have on our soul and removing them so we can become our authentic and true selves. I vowed that I would never in my entire life get to a point where I couldn't pull my body weight through my life. I'm a very athletic, physical person. I believe you have to be to be a sculptor. It's a very physical thing. And I create able-bodied figures in my work. I want them to be portrayed not too skinny or not too muscular, but able. Able to get themselves through their lives, able to pull their own body weight, able-minded, able-spirited, able-souled. To me, the sphere represents the spirit, the soul, uh, the inner light within all of us. And this is uh, part of the works that are well on their way of explaining all that Michelangelo never got a chance to say. We're making classical artwork modern. <laughs>